Hey there, welcome back. We're getting ready to start 1945. Um, it's definitely going to be a doozy. So, a um, couple of new rules are added in 1945. The first one, well, if you're playing the basic game, Okinawa and Iwo Jima never uh, do orders. But remember, we have our own little thing. So, um, we're not going to do that. But the first thing that gets added is this thing, the Japan Invasion. So what this concept is, is you can put seven forces per turn in that box. It's a free move, doesn't cost you anything. And um, what does that mean? Well, a force is just something like this. And this has a cost of two. See, it costs two to build this force. So you can keep putting forces there. And at the end of the game, if I have over 100 points worth of forces there, then that counts as three objectives towards my win. So, um, you know, uh, we, by the way, I did update our score. We, we scored 10 points because we had 10 objectives. Well, that's 10 objectives towards my win. Well, if I put seven forces there, and it could be planes or um, infantry. I don't think it could be ships. But I can put any seven there, and, and then, of course, I get credit for the cost, the build cost. Um, you know what? I think it probably can be ships. Let me check. It just says force counters. So it could be anything. Including ships. Because that might be the only way you're going to get to 100 is if you count some ships. So yeah, you can start moving forces to that box. And uh, at the end of 45... And what that means, that's meant for like doing a land invasion of Japan. So it counts as three extra objectives. You can get over 100. Okay. Next one is this uh, box right here. It's called the uh, BW Strategic Bombing. So we now have strategic bombers. And let me grab those real quick. Um, so these are new counters in 1945. And you can see they got a 2-9. So the, they're B-29 Super Fortress. So we can start strategic bombing Japan if we control the Mariana Islands. It costs one supply point per plane. So if I'm willing to spend, you know, one, two, three, four supply points, I can put four planes in that box. I have to produce these, of course. Um, they haven't been produced yet. But if I put four of them in the box, then what they do is, um, I gotta look up the timing, like when it occurs. But what they do is they, um, you can take one ship, one plane, and one infantry and move it to the reinforcement pool. So basically you kill one of each. And, um, and it's going to be the forces that are in Japan, right? So you can, just, you can just start knocking stuff back into the reinforcement pool. And, um, and it's just an automatic hit against the things that are in Japan. Um, and kill. I mean, it's just a, it's an automatic push. Now, with the, with the carrier fleets of the Yamamoto expansion, they actually didn't cover that scenario because I don't think you're going to move a whole carrier fleet. So I'm guessing that you get to pick one ship on whatever fleet is in Japan. Um, that's how I'm going to play it. Um, it doesn't specify, but it makes sense. It's just cool. one ship. It's one of each type gets put into the reinforcement pool. And then this is the next thing I wanted to point out. Um, the ships... There's quite a few, and a lot of those, by the way, are um, because we sank them. So these are like, you know, replacements for the ships that were sunk. And then um, the infantry is pretty small, but then you look at the aircraft, they don't have much left. And that is pretty representative of 45 Japan. I also made a slight change because it is so painful to progress from one year to the next. And I'm going to recommend this to you as well. Um, Upgrade everything. So if I have a 1942 infantry that survived, um, but there is no 1943 equivalent to it, just grab a 1943 token and replace it. And the reason I'm saying that is we never got to a point where we built everything, right? This, this is jamming up with all kinds of extras. And yes, I, I'm of the belief now that this 1942 Yorktown we really should go grab a carrier and upgrade it. Um, 
because I have a whole crap load of carriers I didn't, you know, I wasn't able to purchase. Um, now, I, I was sort of like being a little greedy and it's like, well, if I can keep the 42 alive and then I'm going to have the Yorktown 2, you know, then I have two Yorktowns running around doing damage. I mean, there is some logic to that. Um, but my logic now is upgrade everything. Um, and because it also creates a nightmare for sorting your pieces afterwards. Um, so what I did in this game is I upgraded everything when it came to infantry and planes, but I didn't touch the ships on either side. So if there's a 1942 ship for Japan still alive, it's it's still going to be used. And uh, we do have a couple of 1944s out there that are still alive and kicking. Um, <clears throat> And I think if you did it for the Japan ships, where you, you know, there, there isn't a replacement for some of them. Now, for the planes, uh, that's the reason why there's no new planes in the reinforcement pool, because I was able to replace one for one all the 1944 planes, but it literally was down to the last plane. Um, I had uh, replacements. There was not a single one left over. Um, so... Uh, and that's fine. I mean, even if there was six planes that they were going to produce, who cares? They're they're going to produce those all in the next one or two turns. All right, so as far as the main game board, those are the new rules. Now let's look at our 1945 sheet. Uh, first thing to notice is that we get replaced if we have s less than seven objectives. Um, we're at 10 right now, so we're, we're sitting pretty good. We're going to get some really nice numbers in the beginning, and then it's going to trickle down. Um... Uh, and then, of course, they have the overall valuation, which um, uh, this is, uh, uh, where am I at? I'm at 10 plus 8 plus 6. So 18 and 6 is oh, 24. So I'm at dismal right now. And let's say I had another 10. That would get me the poor. I might get to historical this campaign. I'm definitely not going to get to great. Um, maybe we can put 100 points of troops in and get three more objectives. Um, but that's about the best I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not getting 50 to 51. Holy cow. That would mean I would need an average of over 10 each year. Because there's only four years, right? 42, 43, 44. Yeah, four years. I need over 10. And I, I think that the 42, the best you can do is 10. So, um, yeah, I'm not playing this game very well. We got this battalion crap going on again, so we're going to have to add a bunch of battalions. Um, Iwo Jima and Okinawa are immobile, so whatever goes there stays there, and I'm assuming that includes ships. Um, there's no real surprises with the carrier air groups. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, and then, like, uh, and here, just to give you a perspective, there's only two infantry that was meant to be reinforcements. And they have a whole bunch, by the way, because we, we killed a bunch. Um, and there was only one extra plane in 1945. So so the fact that I did the replacement methodology, totally fine. Um, so I basically maybe shortchanged them one plane. Um, and then uh, for fortifications, they're going to have massive fortifications on all these islands. Okinawa and Iwo Jima is the only one that matters. Uh, do not roll orders for Japanese infantry in objective areas. Yep, we got that. Um, strategic bombing and Japan invasion rules. I explained those. Um, and then, of course, July and August is when it ends. Um, one thing that was crazy is some of my six Essex carriers got reduced to five. Uh, like the Yorktown 2 was a six, and now it's a five. And there were two of them that were in production... I paid six to produce them, and now they got reduced to five while they're still in the production queue. Um, so I got I got gypped a bit there because obviously the five carrier has less planes. So I don't know what's going on with that, but um, that happened. Uh, we have a hell of a lot more planes than just this um, that were added, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Um, I still have, like like I said, I still have some 1942 ships out there, like the Abda Cruiser is one that comes to mind, and then, of course, a couple carriers. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're, um, we're ready to rock and roll. So let's, um, let's start the turn. We're in January, February. From a production perspective, the Hornet 2, and this is one of the ones. See, look, it's now only worth five. It's a five carrier instead of a six. 
And then the Bunker Hill and the Hancock both came out. No, those are both Essex class. So uh, all three of those are going to be added to my doom stack of ships. Um, this is by far our largest navy, um, but this was the navy where we lost three carriers. So uh, those three carriers are going to replace the three that we lost. And um, <clears throat> everything else moves down. And these three become available. This moves down. And look at that, 44, 44, 44. I forgot to fix those. So let's, let's, um, let's upgrade those. Uh, good news is, is I have them sorted. So like the Mag 22 is replaced with that. And then I have uh, Mag 11, which is replaced with that. Then I have the 90th and 22nd bomber group, which could be in this pile. There's the 90th and there's the 22nd. So it's just two less planes I have to produce. That's fine by me. Okay, so um, three planes produced and an infantry. So I'll put the three planes in the West Coast, the infantry in Australia, and uh, we get to do two rushes. Um, I don't have to worry about that yet. Let's collect our income. Our income is 42. 10, 20, 30, 42. Okay. All right, 42. Um, 10 of it is we're going to finish this. So now I get to do four free rushes per turn. And then... Um, 17 more. So I'm taking 12 away. Yeah, I'm taking 12 away. Oh, hold on. So I'm paying seven, yeah. So I'm taking 12 away. Um, so I need to get five back. So I have 15 points left, and yeah, I'm being a little, I'm being very aggressive with this uh, this track, uh, largely because I want to get get to here. I get four free rushes, and um, I'm gonna rush both of my infantry, so I can get two more infantry out. I need them now, and then I will go ahead and rush a plane, and. Um, Um, I'm going to, I'm going to rush a cruiser. Um, so that's my four and yeah, I know I don't have a lot to spend on stuff, but, um, I know I can at least spend six on this. So that's what I'm going to do. I have, uh, two more Marines that are available. So, um, they cost three each and by doing that, my Marines, they're gonna be, they're gonna take three turns, but I'm gonna use my rushes to get them done. And that's six points. And I'm at nine. So let me zoom out a little. And um, from the plane perspective, I have three points of planes, so I can do seven more. And this is nine, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'll have two left over. I also have one that carried over from last year. But we're going to do seven points of planes. And I know that my ships are light, but that's okay. Um, so let's, should we get some bomber wings going? Some of these big bomber wings. So let's do three. And then I'm going to have to do two cost planes. Four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to use my rush orders to get these threes to come down and once I finish building this thing down here, um, then I don't have to spend points on, on uh, factories anymore. I 
Um, I could reduce this to 15 and give myself two more points so I can get another ship going. You know what, I'm gonna do that because I wanna get a sub going. Let's, get, let's replace our sub. And, uh, all right, um, so we will get the final morale track uh, done by next turn. And then after that, it's just production and then six free rushes per turn. And you know what? I think that my biggest mistake is I should have done this earlier. Um, and maybe just sacrifice with less. You know, in the beginning of the game, maybe build infantry and keep my planes going. Um, and then instead of building ships, just focus on this for the 1942. Uh, that might be a viable strategy. I don't know, you know, it's really hard uh, because 42 is so hard to play. Um, but, um, so we got a, so let's do the holds. So carrier fleet five here has two ships. Surface fleet two has three. So the hold is gonna be on this guy. And then uh, we have a hold here. And then between carrier fleet two and three, they're both tied. So, I don't think it matters, but even is on the left. I rolled even, so uh, Carrier Fleet 3 here will be the one that holds. Well, actually, it says Iwo Jima, everybody holds, so they're basically going to be a death stack there. Um, so uh, that's a 1945 rule. And yeah, let's go. Um, oh, and then Carrier Fleet 1 here is going to hold, which... Um, is going to be their doom because Carrier Fleet One, they have two ships, but um, they're not going to, they're not going to last. Okay, so uh, what are we going to do movement-wise? We're not scouting anymore. I don't think we fear them anymore. Um, maybe in the beginning of the game it mattered. Um, and then of course with my rules, like I said, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, the uh, the bonuses of the die roll doesn't even matter. It's five or six, right? And and yes, I make a mistake. I read the wrong one because I'm so used to playing in a particular year. But we're going to move that all the way up just because I don't want to forget. And we have a whole bunch of infantry. Uh, so, for example, I have, I have this infantry here. We're going to put him in Wake Island which will free up this infantry to do something else. So I'm just gonna put him in the middle of the ocean at the moment. I have another infantry here that uh, can do a similar function. Uh, these Marines are busy taking and finishing up the Solomon Islands. I think I want to finish the Marshall Islands so I can just close the door, right? I wanna close the door. Um, the Philippines, I'm, I'm doing a defensive line there. So even if they try to attack the Philippines, I think we got uh, that pretty much covered. Um, I want to shut the door down here. So um, I have three more planes coming out. And this is the part that's extremely helpful because, um, for example, for Wake Island, I'm going to put a plane there. And then I have two more planes that I'm going to put on the Solomon Islands, right, to help us there. I, there's no reason not to. Um, and then the rest is just my Navy doing what my Navy does. Um, reminder, nobody's moving except for Japan. I'm only doing orders for Japan now. Uh, everything else is, they're, everything is an objective now. They're all protecting their objectives. And um, uh, Iwo Jima and Okinawa aren't even rolling orders for their ships. So the ships are staying there. So we're, we're getting ready for, um, for big battles here. Um, so we got, uh, this is our largest Navy, which it would have been nice to have these to take on those big battles, but we, uh, we may not get to do that. However, I do think I can take this down. Um, Carrier Fleet 5 has two ships, and uh, Surface Fleet 2 has three. And then here there's Carrier Fleet 1 with two ships, so I want to maybe battle both of these places. This one actually is already a battle. So I'm gonna just reinforce this. And then this here is a battle. 
And one of the options I have is I have a whole bunch of land-based uh, carrier destroyers, right? Um, so I could move these here and actually do some damage and not need to send my ships here. Um, it's an interesting idea. Uh, so I'm going to keep this in the Philippines. Now, if they invade the Philippines, then, of course, it's not an interesting idea <laughs> anymore. Um, and, of course, we can't use our planes to do anything else at this moment. So I can have... How many planes here? Six. So there's two there, and one, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna send those four planes there to help out. And so they're gonna invade that. Um, I still have these two guys to do something with, and I think I'm going to... And obviously uh, these two planes here could do something, and maybe I will take them over to the Philippines, just because I'm nervous about losing the Philippines. But Wake Island would be just as devastating. Um, so what do I do? I think this guy we'll use to invade the Marshall Islands. And then the Marine is gonna invade the Caroline Islands. We're gonna try that strategy again. And um, for this, and then here you got Surface Fleet 3 over here. Um, I think we're going to just try to take on their Navy as best as we can. I mean, heck, I could even go up and try to take on the Navy at Iwo Jima and all of this nonsense, right? I could start picking away at that if I really wanted to. But um, I'm going to try to take two objectives, uh, technically three, uh, this turn. So uh, with this uh, carrier fleet... We're gonna definitely send our sub that way. And I'm just gonna sort out what I have here. So we got some juicy carriers and escorts for each, which I like. Another juicy carrier, oh, another juicy carrier and another juicy carrier, oh my gosh. It's like Oprah, I got a carrier for you, I got a carrier for you. All right, and then we have some nice battleships and then so one is not going to be escorted that's fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to send one two three carriers against this fleet here and then i have three carriers still so i'm going to send um this one to help out with the solomon islands and then these two carriers are actually going to take on the Marshall Islands, and then my two battleships are going to support my Marines, invading the Carolina Islands. Yeah, I'm getting a little creative here. And then all my cruisers, um, there's still a lot going on here. Um, so I'm gonna take three cruisers here and three cruisers there, like so. All right, um, I may be getting too aggressive, I don't know, but uh, let's try. All right, uh, so from a rolling orders perspective, we have Carrier Fleet 5, which I rolled a 2, and so he's going to um, 2 plus 6 is 8, which is a withdrawal oh, one closer to Japan. So Car Carrier Fleet 5 is moving one closer to Japan, which means we're now encountering it with our battleships. That's not good. In fact, that's bad. That's very bad. But um, I guess uh, it is what it is. And so he's done. And then we have up here, yeah, those are both pinned. So we're gonna do just Japan now. That's it. So uh, Carrier Fleet 4 is two plus six is eight. Uh, that's a withdrawal, so that's going to be a hold. So he's holding with three planes. And then next, that's what, Carrier Fleet 4. So he's going to take one infantry with him. Next, 7. 
is uh, plus six is 13. So you're gonna move east. Surface Fleet One is creating a mega stack of, of fleets here. And uh, that's gonna be a massive battle. Um, and then with him comes two planes. And this is full, so the two planes are gonna go here instead. Yeah, and he can hold them. And then a five for Battleship Fleet One plus six is 11, that's a support, so it's gonna become a hold. So he's staying with three planes. And um, yeah, that's, that's it. So now we're rolling for just the infantry and the planes. Uh, nine and six is 15, so we're gonna reinforce. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. They have six objectives, so sure. Um, so what's gonna happen is, is the Marshall Islands, which we are attacking, is gonna get one infantry and three planes. So once again, they're trying to foil us and they always seem to have a knack of doing that. Um, the Marshall Islands can only hold two planes. So uh, I'll leave one behind. Continuing with the rolls, four plus six is 10. So that becomes a hold. All the planes are done. And now we're still rolling for infantry. Uh, nine and six is 15, that's a reinforce. Uh, so that one's gonna reinforce uh, Okinawa. And then four and six is 10, uh, that's a withdrawal, so yeah, we're done. Okay, so here's our situation. I know it looks ugly with all the stuff, but we got a battle here, we have a battle here, we have a battle here, and then a pretty big battle there. Um, so let's pick one and go, huh? Uh, let's do the Solomon Islands. I want to get that um, licked. Uh, the Japanese get to add a transport with two battalions because they're jerks and that's what they get to do. And then they get to grab an airplane, which they can't grab because there's none available. And then, um, oh, no, we have airfields. I was gonna say one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six airfields and they have none in use. They have one in the foxhole. We have three Marines uh, on shore in the foxhole and then an Aussie infantry helping us. Um, and then only one carrier for us. And then they have a carrier and a destroyer, which was is just gonna sit in, the, in their ocean because the destroyer will escort their carrier. Um, oh, and, uh, oh, no, 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 this is carrier fleet one, I'm sorry. Uh, they have a light carrier and a cruiser, but same deal, it's gonna sit in the ocean like that. All right, ours is an Essex class, and I was hoping that we would get better numbers, but we don't. Our, um, I guess, 1945 wasn't that much different than 44 for us. Um, so that's our situation, and they have gotten a lot worse. So their zero is only a 4-2, and their bomber is a 2-2 um, at full strength. So. Uh, you can clearly tell they're losing their best pilots and they're in trouble. Okay, so this is, again, the Solomon Islands battle. Um, how many do they get? They get one, two, three, four, five. They have five, so they're going to get two battle plans. And let's see how long, how many turns. Uh, it's going to be two turns. Ooh, um, okay, I'm a little nervous about that, but um, I'm going to... <clears throat> If I want damage control, I have to spend a supply point, and I don't want to do that for this particular battle. I'm nervous about the other battles a bit more. Um, so then the question becomes, do I adjust the turn length by one because I want to end this? Um, do I make it so I roll an extra anti-air because my, my carrier is undefended? 
Um, yes, I'm going to take that one for one. I get Leathernecks. And then I'm going to take um, the uh, charge for the extra infantry attack. And um, re-roll an infantry attack. I would, I would take something that helps my planes, but the only one that I have is dogfight, and I'm not sure I need that. Um, Okay, so that's our, our situation. Well, actually, this is a um, six. So we actually have another fighter, like so. Okay, so let's draw their two battle plans and hope that they're not going to... Uh... So in addition to being my, my cup that I draw from, uh, the, the baggies fit really nice in there and you can like line it up like a garbage can so that way it's easy to throw your components in the bag while you're doing stuff. So that's what I was just getting rid of. So two battle plans. Here's battle plan one, ship combat. So their anti-air rolls are really good. And battle plan two is they stop a carrier hit. Um, so I only have two turns, but I really would like to take down their ships because I think um this is getting harder and harder um one of the things I can do is because they're on transports I can take these two battalions um so for example 646464 six, right these guys can go after the transports uh this one can also go after the transports right so that's four rolls of six these two are going to help the land attack. There's only one infantry on land, and I happen to have three Marines also on land. So then it's like, okay, well, then I'm going to take on the carrier, right? Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to have these guys, well, this is the time to hit that transport. Um, these two are staying to protect the carrier. For sure, they're staying to protect the carrier. Um, if I only have three going after their carrier and they're already gonna stop one hit, um, that's my issue. I have a problem. You know what? I'm going all in for their carrier with everything. So these two guys, of course, are going to stay and help with the land battle. But um, the rest are going after the carrier. And yes, my fighters are staying back to protect me, um, the carrier. And then um, their uh, bomber is going to go after the island. And then their zero is going to go after our carrier. So uh, we're going to do dog fights first. So they have a 4-2. They miss. We have two 8-4s. Uh, that's one hit. So we hit their, their zero once. And um, next we do is anti-air. So we have an 8-4. And I rolled an 8. So we just destroyed the zero. And now we're going to go do them. So they have a 3 which missed, and they have a 2-1, which also misses. Now, they were supposed to add plus 3, plus 2. So the 2-1 plus 3 is still a miss, and uh, the 3, I don't remember what I rolled, so let's roll again. Um, I'm going to say they hit me, just because I don't remember what my roll was. So um, my torpedo bomber will take a hit. And so now we get to roll for damage. Right, so they have a guy hitting our island with a two. So he actually hits, and I'm gonna have to use Leathernecks already. So that's done. And then we get to attack the island, so we're gonna roll two. And they hit with a six, so they hit once. So there's only one guy on the island, and we hit him uh, with our bomber. And then uh, now we're going after their carrier. So here's my three. He's a miss. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
This is six dice that are rolling a six. Uh, miss, miss, one, two, three, four hits. Now they do stop one of those hits, but the carrier is sunk and uh, should probably get the tray handy. Oh, let me put this down. I just realized this was still in my tray. So when we get the uh, Colorado, Maryland, uh, whenever we find that one, I'm gonna have to replace it because I uh, definitely need to do that and <clears throat> okay so this was a light carrier sorry i'm just trying to be efficient at putting these away and then this guy took a damage so chances are we're not going to do anything with him because we got to focus on the island now um but the good news is, is their planes are gone they're pesky planes yeah we did sacrifice now these guys are on the island um but I'm not done yet. Uh, he rolls a two. That's a miss. And then we roll a five, which is a hit. And then we roll three sevens, which is two hits. And I'm going to re-roll this one, which is a miss. And then I'm going to roll extra. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not doing all those extra rolls yet. Um, I'm not doing the re-roll yet either. So uh, two hits was all we needed because this is the only thing we can hit. So... Uh, uh, that was not a smart move to do, to use my stuff yet. Okay, so um, this moves down to one. Let's get two battle plans. Uh, they get a battalion. Oh, man, that's awful. And then the screening ship stops a hit on a carrier, which nobody cares about. Okay, so... All in on the island. Uh, there's no anti-air. It's just pure carnage. So um, first I'm going to start with my fighters and then the damaged torpedo bomber. So three twos. Oh my gosh, one, two, three hits. <laughs> that was insane. Um, one, two, three hits. All right, and then I have two sixes. And of course I miss with those. Um, and uh, then I have one, two, three, four, five, six fours. Uh, one, two, three, three hits. Uh, that's enough. We won. And, uh, you know, I wish we could have finished off the cruiser, but we're not going to be able to. So this cruiser goes to carrier fleet one, damaged. And um, that, of course, will count against them and go into the repair pool. So Carrier Fleet 1 is actually going to be out of commission. Um, the Lexington did its job, took no damage. And yes, we took Solomon Islands uh, with massive strength. And the planes really, really help, the land-based planes. Um, I can't stress enough, uh, make sure you build those. And these Corsairs are, are pretty slick. Um, they're just as good as carrier planes, and uh, the B-24s aren't bad either. So, Solomon Islands, checkbox done. We took one objective. Didn't even need to use these. That's okay. That's even better. All right, so then let's do... Uh, we have... I gotta, we have the Caroline Islands. We have Marshall Islands and Mariana. We're gonna be near the bottom here. And there we go. Okay, so let's do Caroline Islands first. Then uh, the Mariana, then Marshall West. 
and I'm sure there's gonna be rules on these islands that are gonna tick me off. All right, let's, uh, just found the Colorado so I'm just replacing that real quick while it's fresh in my mind okay so Japan drills one extra battle plan for the first battle turn uh, that's not too bad so they have one infantry one battalion in the foxhole uh, we have two battleships and a marine and uh, Carrier Fleet 5, though, is going to have a full-strength carrier along with a destroyer out in the ocean. And they do bring with them one infantry, which is a battalion. And it's going to be like so. So um, I can't do anything about their carrier. I have no planes in this battle. Um, I can, however... Let's see how many turns. I need a lot of turns to win this. So uh, four is not gonna do it. I have, so I'm gonna take the engaged and then of course Leathernecks for my Marines. And um, uh, I think I'm gonna have to spend a supply point on this one. So I'm gonna take uh, that for um, uh, my surface ships will do an extra hit. And then I'm gonna roll an extra anti-air against their planes. Um, and then uh, if I can find it, it's gonna be an extra infantry attack. So there we go, that's my six points. And um, they have one, two, three, four. So they're only gonna get one battle plan. Um, but for this first turn, they get two. And now I want them to get no attack in the ocean and all that stuff as much as, as much as they want. And uh, that would be awesome. All right, here's the first one. Ooh, this is a good one. Submarine warfare. And there it is. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent smithers. <coughs> okay, so um, uh, they are going to harass us with their planes, though. And there's not a lot we can do about it. So let me just grab... I have the Zero, the Torpedo. So this is the situation for them. Their Torpedo Bomber is semi-decent uh, against water. Um, but against land, uh, they're pretty awful. And um, there we go. All right, so uh, I have no planes. So now we're just rolling to see where their planes go. And I rolled a five. So their planes are going against the island. There is no island, so they're going against our battleships. And then the uh, Zero would just go with them because there's nowhere else for them to go. So then we do anti-air, and my anti-air with the battleships is five. So I'm gonna get to roll two fives, and then I'm rolling an extra anti-air for a ship, so um, I'm gonna roll three fives. And of course, two of them miss, but one of them does hit. Uh, the, the rolls are just awful. Um, now, we do get to hit anything with a bracket of one, and look at what changed. The zero is no longer absorbing the hits. I can go after their bombers. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the, the, the torpedo bomber, reduce them down to a one. So it is possible they're going to damage our battleships, which is not a good, good thing. But um, this will be the one, and this is the two. So... Thankfully, they both missed. So bombers missed. Um, that's all I could ask for, right? So then we move on to the naval attack, and I'm rolling two sevens. So come on. Oh my gosh. A 10 and an 8? Come on. So uh, nothing happens there. Uh, we land and go straight to the foxhole. Uh, they land and hit the beach. I was hoping to hit the transport. Um, so, uh, all right, uh, we now move to, uh, I'm gonna use my engage to keep it at two battle turns. They're only drawing one battle plan. So let's see what we get. And 
Oh my goodness, they're getting a battalion. Uh, they're just making life miserable for me. All right, uh, so that's the situation for them. And yes, we're gonna roll for their bombers and their bombers are going after the ocean. So they're going after my, uh, my battleships again. So the battleships are gonna roll two anti-air, five each, and they both miss. Come on. This is like the worst rolling ever. Um, so now they're gonna roll one and two. This is the one, this is the two. And at least they missed. I mean, I would have been really upset if they hit. So it was an eight three. So that part's over. Um, and now we're gonna roll our two sevens for um, naval attack. Oh. 10, 10. That is, that now is, we've just rolled four times with a naval attack of seven and we've missed all four times. Okay, naval attack's over. They do their infantry attack, which is two ones. So they at least missed. And then we get to do, so I'm gonna do this for an extra infantry attack. So we get uh, two sevens. And still one of them misses. That's five sevens. Um, we hit one unit and we're not gonna win. So now we go down to one turn left for uh, their planes. Uh, they're going after our battleships again. This time we hit twice, so we're gonna destroy this guy and we at least hit their uh, dive bomber. Their dive bomber only hits on a one and they rolled a one. Oh my God. All right, so um, the North Dakota is taking a hit and now he only rolls a four and he hits this time. And then the other one rolls a seven and he hits. So I finally did two hits and this will be a third hit. Um, did I forget to draw their battle plan? Yes, I did. I was getting a little ahead of myself. No attacks in the ocean. Okay, so we did three hits, which is the only thing that's gonna get us through this. So that's, both of these battalions are gone. And um, now it's coming down to, yeah, I can't do it because the Marine only rolls one die. So I'm gonna roll the Marine and he hits the battalion and damages it, but we're not gonna take the island. Um, and then uh, they get to roll. Um, even if they would have hit us, we could have absorbed the hit. So um, we fell short. And we actually have a damaged battleship, which is going to cost two points to repair. So that part hurts. Um, there's a lot of other things that would hurt more, I guess, but it, like if it got sunk. But the Caroline Islands are at least, um, for now, they're enmeshed in battle. And the Marine's going to stay there. And then, of course, the ships... They really didn't play that big of a role, the carrier, and uh, we were able to fend it off. But everything else, though, the um, them drawing that battalion uh, saved the island for them. Okay, so what's next? Mariana Islands, which is a huge battle. And um, let's get this set up. So for the Mariana Islands, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. Um, and then uh, I don't intend to win this one. And here's why. Look at all the battalions they have. I'm just putting them out so I can easily, you know, hit them. And I'm not even invading with a, um, a ground force. Now, Surface Fleet 3 is going to come with a transport. So they do have a transport. And it has only two ships. A submarine and a cruiser. Okay. So those are their only two ships. And then we have... Oh, we have carriers, so the submarine's going to go into the ocean. And yes, we're going to have escort for our carrier. Two carriers. And three cruisers. And a destroyer. So two destroyers escorting our carriers. Do I need that? No. Well, no, they, they have air units, but it's all zeros. 
So I'm gonna just take one of these and move it there. This guy is only necessary for the depth charges. Um, so this is a, a battle where I'm just trying to inflict as much damage as possible on them because they're getting too strong. And of course, Mariana Islands, we wanna take it so that way we can um, start using our bombers, which we don't have yet, but we will soon. Uh, this is a concern because he can always get in a lucky hit. And um, I need to think about that. So let's see how many turns we got. Uh, that's a reroll, uh, seven, which is three turns. It's a healthy number. And um, I do have an awful lot of planes that I can bring the pain with. Um, so I could en do engaged to increase the turns by one, but I'm worried about I think I need to do a damage control in case that sub hits me. So that is, I am gonna spend a battle point for that reason. So I have two points left. And um, I want the surface attack to do one extra hit because I'm just using uh, cruisers to do my hits. And, um, and then I think I can, uh, there's one where I get to reroll um, a depth charge. So we'll do that, see if we can hit that submarine, right? Um, everything else is just gravy. So whatever we can destroy, uh, that's what we want to do. We want to take out as much as we can. And you can see it's all battalions with two hit points each. So uh, we're going to have a lot, of, a lot of damaging to do. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14. They're going to get three battle plan points. And if the U.S. has never held the island, they get a fortification counter. So uh, that's going to probably be the case for a while. And we want to draw, come on, ocean, baby, ocean. Uh, adjust duration. Stop one hit. And screening ship. I like... Uh, two of I like two of the three the stop one hit might be a little annoying, but okay So for their bomber, where's their bomber gonna go? He's gonna go after our carriers so um, Then the uh, the zeros are going to also go after our carriers because they they go wherever there's planes Now uh, the zeros of course, I'm gonna have to hit all of them first uh, before the uh, I can hit the bomber, so that bomber is going to get through, is what I'm saying. And um, uh, this isn't bad because if I do hits, it's all going to be against battalions. So these planes, it's nice to eliminate as many of them as we can, even though Japan's going to just produce them next turn because they're going to go right into the reinforcement pool and, and boom, they're going to come right back. Um, but it is nice to take out what we can. And uh, I do have. I forgot. I got. I got a. Um, I was supposed to say where my stuff was going to go, and of course the answer. Ooh, actually I had two choices. I could go after their cruiser, and I could go after um, the transport. So my apologies there. I sh I was supposed to do this before I knew where their planes were going. Um, so we have uh, two. See, yeah. I would have put uh, my fighters on CAG duty. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, I, I mean, I guess I could have tried to protect my cruisers, but they have good anti-air. Um, yeah, I don't... Ugh. So I would have split them. That's really what I would have done. I would have put one here and one there. That is truly what I would have done. Um, so I will play it that way. And then as far as the bombers, that part... Uh, well... We didn't roll for their zeros, so we can roll for those later. So, because I have to decide where my bombers are going. And um, I'm going to send my bombers... I'm going to send them to the coast. We're going to sink the cruiser and the transport. And here's why. Um... If we sink the cruiser, we get rid of the Surface Fleet 3 
from the region. And um, also, if the Zeros intercept my bombers, they're going to at least have my, my fighter to dogfight them. So my bombers, like if I go after the island, um, their Zeros are going to intercept my bombers. And I'm going to have no defense against it. So uh, do I really want all six of them to go after uh, four hit points worth of targets? And the answer is yes, because I might miss twice. So uh, now we're going to roll for their zeros, and they all go to the same place, whatever they do. And they are going to one, which is the Japanese Ocean. So yes, they're going after my bombers. So, so now dogfight is actually quite interesting. Um, we're going to start with the carrier fleet. I roll an 8-4, and I rolled a 7, so I did hit him once. So the bomber is damaged, which is good. And then um, over uh, our cruisers... Uh, we have an 8-4, so we just hit twice, and so I'm going to get to take out one of them. And then they have three 3-2s, three and they do hit twice. And then they have a 5-3, and they hit two more times. So they hit us four times. So we're going to lose a torpedo bomber, and we lose our fighter. All right, but we hit them twice, so we're going to take out their 5-3 here. He's as good as gone. And now we do anti-air. They have no... Well, they do have an anti-air. Two. Uh, one second. They stop one hit. So um, this guy would still be dead. It's this guy that would, that would be alive. He's still full strength. All right, so their carrier or their cruiser missed us, and now our destroyer gets a three. He misses, and then the carrier gets an eight four. And of course, we roll a ten. So now they're going to roll a two to bomb us, and they got a three. Thank goodness. And then um, they don't have anybody else to bomb us, so now we get to bomb them. So uh, one, two, three. We have five sixes. And this damage control is done. So one, two, three, with two misses. So we did three hits on them. So we sink the cruiser. And um, uh, we damaged the infantry that's on the transport just once, which is fine by me. Um, Ah, I forgot to roll anti-air for my ships here. They get to roll. So we have four ships, but only three uh, aircraft that survived the dogfight. So we get to roll four. It's one hit and a three, three. Uh, another hit. So we get to take out another of their planes. Done. Okay. So that part's done, and now we go to the submarine. They roll a three. And see, they hit the, that jerk. He hit. So damage control. So we get to prevent that. And now we're going to roll. And we need a three. We miss. I'm going to re-roll uh, a depth charge. Let's try again. And we miss again. So uh, that stinks. And um, now we're going to do our naval attack. So we have a two. Then we have two fours. Those are both hits. And then we have a five, which is a miss. So um, we got two hits, and then this makes it a third. So three hits, and yeah, it's just battalion killing time. So um, we'll do that. Next round, we have two turns left. I'm going to draw three battle plans. Oh, never mind. They have more troops than us, so they're increasing it by one. That's what the rules say, even though... Uh, they really don't have much to do with us. So one, two, and three. Um, I'm really glad I didn't pick the fourth one there. Uh, all bombers roll ten. They do have one bomber. Uh, first light. And air combat. So they get big bonus to their bomb and dogfight rolls. So, um, and of course their transport would have landed on the beach. So my bombers are, of course, going after the land. So now it's just a matter of where are their zeros going. 
their zeros are going against our carriers, so it's gonna look like this, and our bombers will be fine. Um, I forgot to say where our uh, fighter was going to be, but he's CAG duty because we knew the bomber was coming at us, and that's important. So for dogfighting, uh, we have an 8-4, and we rolled an 8, so we get to do one hit to them, but they have a 6-4 times 2. And I rolled two tens, so Karma's a real jerk. All right, so we did one hit to them, and I have to hit the zero. And now we're gonna do anti-air. So we get to roll a three, which is a hit. And then we get to roll two eight fours, which is two hits and one hit. So two, three, four hits to them. So two, three, Four. That's what it's going to look like. So we eliminated all their planes, which is good. And now uh, we get the bomb, or they get the bomb. So one for them. Oh, thank goodness. And then um, we have one, two, three, four, five fours, because we're now bombing the land. And uh, one, two, three, four, all five of them hit. I did forget to remove the fortification, but the order didn't matter. So then I get to do four more hits, so two more battalions gone. So good for us there. And now we do the um, their submarine, misses, and then our depth charge, misses, and then uh, a two for us, misses, uh, two fours, one hit, and a five miss. So we do one more hit and we finish off that battalion. All right, so uh, we now go down to two turns left. I am nervous about that submarine. Um, so here's, here's one, infantry combat, two, uh, dogfight and bomb rolls, and three, no attacks in the ocean. And I forgot that uh, when it, this guy was rolling a one, he actually had a four two. Um, what did, I'm gonna just roll for their bomber again. So I had an eight, so that would have been a miss. I don't know what I rolled for their bomber and I apologize for failing to, to catch that. And, um, Okay, so uh, where's their bomber gonna go? Well, we got our bombers are going for the island. That's no question. So it's just a matter of where their bombers are gonna go. And their bomber is gonna go after our cruisers. So for our cruisers, um, our anti-air is a four. And so we hit and we finished off the last of their planes. And then, um, uh, our fighter was still on CAG duty, but we're going to roll five fours. Uh, did I? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, one hit this time, which sort of counterbalances the five hits last time. So one hit uh, damages the battalion. This guy's in the foxhole. Um, okay, and then uh, their submarine is a miss. Boy, that scared me for a little bit. Then we roll, we miss, <clears throat> and then uh, a two, which is a hit, uh, two fours, another hit, and a five is another hit. So, uh, what was that, three hits? So two more battalions gone. This is what it's shaping up. And um, now we're down to one turn remaining. Um, all planes, including my fighter, going after the island. Um, uh, one, two, three. I got super lucky because I know in there is uh, uh, the thing that gives them extra right here. <laughs> I was looking and that's one I was worried about drawing. Um, the one that gives an extra battalion stinks too, but um, 
that one's livable. The, the, uh, the one that makes our submarine turn into a super sub is not. Um, all three of these are useless. So I'm just throwing everything in the cup because this is the last turn. Um, so off we go. We're gonna now bomb. We have a two, miss, and then uh, five fours. Uh, one hit from that. So Italian goes down. And then uh, the uh, submarine is a miss. Our depth charge is a miss. <laughs> um, and then uh, two for our carrier, or not the carrier, but you know what I mean. And then two fours. Uh, there's two hits. And then uh, one five, which is a miss. So we did two more hits. So we killed another battalion. We didn't win, but we, gosh darn it, we uh, really uh, whittled them down. And so you can see here that um, Mariana Islands is down to two damaged uh, units. And um, the uh, Surface Fleet 3 is down to just one sub. And that's it. So I'll take that. Uh, that, I think, was a good, good gun run for us. We didn't lose our carriers, which also helps. Um, the cruisers sort of did their job. They, they did enough damage. And yeah, the goal with this one was never to actually win, although I almost did. Um, it was really to just soften them, and I think we accomplished that goal. And my, I'm missing a, oh no, I'm not. So now we go to the Marshall Islands, which has, Japan starts with a fortification, and the invader may not have airfields, and we not move more than two infantry from transports to beaches, or foxholes each turn. Well, that's fine, we're only sending one infantry at them. And uh, this is gonna be a big battle, and uh, I'm a little nervous about this one. So, so there we go, we got that. We have, for the airfields, one, two, three, four for Japan. And, um, for the uh, foxholes, one, two, three, four, and then a transport. And, uh, and then um, Surface Fleet 2 is protecting them. And Surface Fleet 2 has two more infantry for the transport. And then three ships. And none of them are gonna be a carrier. So we have a cruiser, a cruiser, and a destroyer. Okay, so that's all gonna be for them. And then for us, we have a cruiser, 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 carrier. Um, now, they have all bombers here, so our carrier does have some cause for concern. Carrier. Uh, we have two groups of submarines, so we'll put two submarines up on them. And then another carrier. So we have three carriers, and we have... Three destroyers, which we could put on escort duty. Um, and, you know, they would supply some anti-air, but I'm actually going to put the destroyers here. Uh, we're going to use them to support the uh, ground attack, which needs it. Um, <clears throat> so, again, it's just about building up our, our planes in this situation. Um, I'm going all in on the coastal. So I'm going after their ships and the transport, and there's plenty of stuff to hit. The, um, the fighters, uh, you can see these are two Essex class. So uh, uh, bear with me as I get everything out. So. So uh, that's two of our carriers there. Um, There's the third carrier, and there's the second carrier, 
And now we just need to get the first one. Because we have two Essex class, we have four fighters here. So we have a lot of fighters. Um, I don't want to lose a carrier uh, in this battle. So um, uh, we're definitely putting three fighters here. And then, uh, but I'm pretty convinced that odds are they're going to go after the, um, the uh, cruisers. So actually I'm going to put a third fighter on the cruiser and then two will protect my carriers. And um, I think that's how I'm going to play it out. And obviously if they roll a 10, uh, whichever one they, they don't roll is going to be a waste. Um, but uh, i got to do it that way. And let's see. Um, so I'm committed. Everything in mine's going coastal. Yeah, so let's see where they go. Uh, they rolled a three, so uh, we paid off. Our gamble paid off. They are going after our cruisers and our transport, so we have three fighters there to meet them. And so dogfight, we roll three eight fours. Oh, crap. Um, I needed to uh, buy my battle points. We need to see how many turns this is. So it's 10. So this is a four-turn battle. That's excellent. Um, and then I have one supply point which I'm going to use, and um, uh, would I have done damage control? I think I would have, so four, and then I would have, I probably would have done like the same thing I did before. I would have done that, and then um, the surface attack does an extra hit for five, and then one more would have been, uh, re-roll a torpedo. Um, there's not much else I can do. I mean, I, I have an infantry. Yes, he's landing. You know, we could maybe do something to help him roll twice, but it's not that exciting. <clears throat> so that's six points, and that's what I would have done. Um, okay, so we do have the damage control, and now let's continue with regularly scheduled programming. We're going to roll an 8-4, and so there's an eight there, uh, a one and a four. So this is two, four, five hits. I'm not going to need that damage control, I don't think. Uh, they're all twos, so two, four, five hits. That, I will take that. <clears throat> Their uh, death stack for uh, the planes is getting pretty high. Um, so well done to the dogfights. And then um, we do anti-air. So we'll start with them. They're gonna roll three twos. And they do roll one. So I'm gonna, should I mitigate that hit? No, I probably should do that if they're gonna hit a ship. So I'm gonna let that hit go through and it'll just be a torpedo bomber. Poor torpedo guys. Always be the first one I pick. Um, now we get to roll anti-air, so we have one, well there's only two planes, so we're going to roll two threes, and um, we missed with both, and so now uh, it's damage time. So they're rolling uh, a one and a two, uh, the one will be blue, the two will be this, and they do hit, and that's where the damage control will come in, we'll stop that hit, um, so their bomber would have hit us. And then we have one three, which is a hit. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sixes. There's eight sixes. Oh, that's a miss, that's a miss, that's a miss, and that's a miss. So one, two, three, four hits with our bombers. Now, um, uh, these guys have a bracket of two. So uh, I get to pick. Well, I'm going to definitely take out the cruiser. I'm going to take out both cruisers. So we do take out two of their ships. Um, these are both the 1945 ships. So those are gone for good. Of course, anything we take out now is gone for good. Um, so 
that's at least a decent roll. We didn't get to hit their um, transports though. But now we go to the surface attack, or I'm sorry, the uh, submarines. So we have two fours and I hit with one. And I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll because I took it. So let's see if we hit, nope, we hit with one. And so the destroyer takes damage. And now the destroyer attacks us with a two. It misses. And then we have uh, one, two, three twos because of our destroyers. So those all miss. And then we have three fours. So one hit. And then we can make this do an extra hit. So we did two hits. Um, the only nice thing about it is, is we, we sank their destroyer. Um, so that's awesome. And then uh, we did damage one of the infantry on the transport. I don't know if they have any battalions. Nope, we get to damage something that's full. So we at least got one of them. Um, as far as uh, land units go, nobody attacked the land this turn. Uh, nothing happened there. So um, we go down to three turns remaining. We land on the beach, and these guys land on the beach. Uh, put them over here. They do have four battalions and a fortification. They do have two planes that land, and our submarines have nowhere to go, um, but that's fine. And we have three turns left. I forgot to draw battle plans. Oh my gosh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is just awful. Uh, they get three battle plans. And uh, first light, no attack in the ocean. Oh, those are wonderful. So that doesn't, I don't need to retcon anything. I don't know how I would have, even if I did. Um, so let's do this properly now and draw three for them. Uh, here's one, first light. Here's two, damage control. And here's three, uh, adjust the duration by one, which will probably shorten the battle because I think with our planes, we have way more than them. So, um, okay, well, <clears throat> well then, okay, everything is going after the island. Uh, those three fighters that were on my uh, cruisers are also going after the island. I'm keeping my two fighters behind. Uh, well, you know, my carriers are so good at anti-air. I'm gonna keep one fighter behind one fighter on these guys, all three of these going to the island, everything here going to the island. So let's see what they're, uh, they're going after the island. So um, uh, I have three eight fours, and that's one, two, three hits, and all their planes are gone. So we neutralize that part of the island. Uh, there's no anti-air or anything left, so we have full control now. I have, Four twos. Uh, one of their planes would still be alive. Backtrack. He would have one damage. Um, because uh, um, this. Stop one hit. Okay. So uh, my fighters actually did two damage to the land. And so that's just going to kill a battalion. But I'm very happy with that. Their bomber rolls a two a 10 and then uh, we're going to now do one two three four five six seven eight eight fours this is the land attack with our bombers um, miss holy cow one let me zoom out for you here one two three four five six hits that was glorious that was absolutely glorious. Battalion gone, battalion gone. Um, all the infantry have a one bracket, so I can ignore the, the airport. And I can take out this infantry because he, oh, oh, this. And then this infantry takes a damage. So I had to absorb the hit with the fortification. And now we get to surface attack. So we have three twos. Uh, there's one hit. And then we have three fours. Uh, there's another hit. So two more hits. This guy's eliminated and this guy's eliminated. So we just got rid of two more infantry. Uh, 
All right. Um, they don't have anybody to attack because now they're moving to the foxhole. Same for us. We're moving to the foxhole. Um, uh, they are going to reduce the duration, so we're going to skip turn two, and now we're down to the final battle turn. Uh, we're going all in. Um, everybody, including all my fighters, I'm not defending anything with my fighters anymore. I'm just going to the island. Their bomber is going to the island. So I get to roll uh, five eight fours. It's not even worth rolling. Um, we annihilated him, but let's, I forgot to draw the battle plans. Uh, one, uh, two, and three. So the kamikaze meant they were going after our, um, our ship. So I got to back up a bit and, um, I have to roll three dice. Uh, nope, just one. So I'm going to roll an eight, four and I rolled a nine. Oh my gosh. Okay. So they're going to roll one and they rolled a 10. So they missed the kamikaze just crashes into the to the sea. So uh, the plane's gone, which helps us, because uh, that's one less thing we have to hit. So this is done. This is useless for them. This one is not. All right, and so uh, I'm just gonna focus on my dice here so you can see the outcome. They have two infantry, so we need to do four hits, okay? So uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six, six twos to roll. Let me zoom out a little. Uh, I see one hit on all that. So that we're in one of the four. And then we have uh, eight fours. Uh, a lot of misses here. A lot of misses. This needs to be re-rolled. Two hits. So we're at three of the four hits that we need. And now we have three twos for our destroyers. And there's number four. Um, we actually pulled this off and we won. So these two infantry are eliminated. And we took it with one infantry. So Marshall Islands fell. Surface Fleet 2 is now in the scrap bin. And uh, our Navy did not take any damage, which was amazing. Um, like I said, this is our best Navy stack. And now it's gone. So we're gonna have to wait like three turns before we can use it again. But we had to get aggressive because if you have the best Navy stack, you need to use it, right? And so there were two mega battles that Marshall Islands, um, I'm sorry, the Mariana Islands, we didn't, um, we didn't succeed in defeating everything, but it was still a wonderful outcome. Uh, the only disappointment was the Caroline Islands. Um, we didn't win that one. Uh, but we're darn close, and the Marshall Islands now flip to the good guys. So, um, and I just learned my lesson. I'm actually keeping my uh, carrier groups out so we can use them next time without having to go through and find them all again. So I will do that. And that brings us to the end of the round, at least. And so let's roll for their reinforcement. Three plus 15 is 18, but they do have some damage. 17, 16, 15, and that cruiser makes it 14. So not that it matters, but um, every little bit, I guess, helps. And I forgot to do something else, so we'll have to fix that as well. Uh, 14 means they get two ships and two infantry, which will go there, and uh, two planes are coming back. So we defeated a bunch of planes and only two came back. The cruiser and a escort carrier are coming out. Uh, escort carrier is gonna go here because this cruiser is now going to the bottom of the stack. And uh, this cruiser is gonna go on surface fleet two. All right, so what did I forget to do? It's what I always forget to do. Um, the, uh, the dang battalions, look at this. So Solomon Islands was not ours and they would have gotten three battalions. Um, it says Held Island, a Japanese Held Island. 
uh, they, they don't hold it if it's under battle. So I wouldn't have done that, but the Marshall Islands would have gotten one more and we just fought them. And um, I still had three fours with my, uh, my cruisers. And that would have been one more hit. And then I would have rolled a five for my, uh, yeah, see I would have been one short of taking Marshall Islands. So um, yeah, that one sucks. Uh, Caroline would have gotten two more. Uh, yeah, this is not helpful at all. Um, so my apologies. Uh, Caroline gets two more. I'm going to put those out. I'm also going to put a third one because the Marshall Islands should have gotten one. And so I'll put it on Caroline. Um, Wake, Gilbert, New Guinea, Philippines, Borneo, two and two on Iwo Jima and Okinawa. And then the Mariana would have gotten one. So Mariana is not quite as defeated as we hope. They had one more battalion. And then two for Okinawa. And two for Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima is a giant death stack as well. Uh, not a very fun. Iwo Jima is not going to be fun at all. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's going to take all kinds of persistence just to uh, whittle these guys down. And this is a 1942 Japan unit that was in the battalion bin. I would have looking, been looking forever for that next time we play. Okay, so, um, yeah, I got I to gotta remember that part. And before we even start the next turn, let's do that. So Mariana gets two more. So, uh, DVG just doesn't want you to win this game. So Mariana gets two more. Iwo Jima and Okinawa get two more each. Holy cow, this is like a battalion fest for them. It's a battalion festival. They're going to have chipped beef and... Um, okay, uh, Borneo, Philippines, New Guinea, uh, Gilbert Islands, Wake Island. Caroline gets two. Uh, Caroline is not held anymore, so I'm not going to give the two. Uh, we have a Marine on, on the ground. Marshall doesn't get any. Um, Solomon doesn't get any. Okay, so um, let's move to the next turn then. And uh, our production happens. So these come down. These come down. This comes off and that comes down. Um, we get uh, 40 points. Ten, twenty, thirty, and forty. Okay, so we have 40 points. Uh, here is 15 points out of the 30 that we need. So I'm going to Take 20 away, put five back, and we just finished all of the morale track, uh, for good or bad. Um, so let's keep the planes rolling. I'm gonna buy another strategic bomber for three. So this comes off, and I need a two. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and. Um, and then for the ships, we have 4, 8, 10, 15. And we can go to 35, so we can put 20 points worth of ships out. So we definitely want to do that. And I think we need to get the Mighty Mo going for 5. Um, these battleships are pretty darn awesome uh, from an anti-air perspective. So 5 for that. Uh, the Randolph for six, that's 11, and six more for uh, 17, and I said I can get to 20, so that means I can build a three of something. Well, these two, these old battleships are only three. Or we can get a bunch of cruisers for three. Um, 
and then even these destroyers, like this is a nice destroyer. It's got a really good anti-air, a four. Um, we'll get a battleship going for three. So that was uh, 20 points, or 15 points, I meant. So I'm gonna flip that over. Um, or no, that was 20 points. So take that away, then I have two points left that we'll use for battles. Uh, let's not forget, I get six free rushes. So, um, I'm doing two to get the Marines down. Um, and then I'm gonna do three, four, five, six. I don't think you can rush the same thing more than once. So we'll do that. I, I know these bombers aren't, we don't have the Mariana Islands yet, so we don't need them yet. So we'll let those just take their natural course. And yes, for this turn, I'm just producing one plane. Um, this is intentional. I wanted, because um, we have hardly any Navy here, and I want this these guys to join to build, buster, bolster that Navy, and I'm gonna rush this next turn so he also joins that Navy. Okay. Coming back to here, that means we have, this is a pretty good Navy as well. I mean, it wasn't our strongest at the start of the game, but it's slowly building up. And this is that little mini Navy I was telling you about. And we're gonna bolster this one by adding that battleship plus three carriers. And then, of course, we got our, our beast mode uh, navy that just did an awesome job. They're resting and recovering. Uh, we are in March, April, and um, uh, Japan is definitely in defensive mode. I mean, they're not, um, they're not attacking or doing much of anything. Uh, this carrier fleet is not staying anymore. Uh, this carrier fleet will actually, and then uh, here we got a doom stack of ships that are staying. Um, I need to start taking that down. And then we have Japan to roll for. That's really it. We're gonna roll for this, and then we're gonna roll for Japan. So per my rules, we're gonna do this. Um, not that it matters, a five or a six is not that big of a difference to their rolls. And then what are we gonna do? Well, obviously we can start moving some planes here, right? Because the Caroline Islands are are uh, in, in play. Um, we might have some weird rule. Nope, the Caroline Islands allows us to attack it and we can bring our planes. So I'm gonna do that. We can bring five planes, in fact. So I'm gonna take one, two, three Corsairs and then two of my uh, land bombers. So that's gonna be our five planes to help out with the Caroline Islands. Um, we have a whole bunch of Aussie infantry here. Uh, well, no, we have a whole bunch of Marines. The Aussies are gonna stay and hold Solomon Islands. I still have more planes on the Solomons to, to do something with. Um, and my Marines are going to do something. I just don't know what yet. Um, I think we wanna invade the Mariana Islands. Yes, we do. The Mariana Islands would be very nice. You know what, Okinawa would be nice as well. But let's get the Mariana because that's gonna close the, the supply loop and um, we're gonna crunch them in. So we have Surface Fleet 3 to contend with, but our three Marines are gonna go there. Oh, bad fingers, bad fingers. All right. So this is gonna get plane support. We do have a carrier fleet with which one is that? It's got a full-size carrier, so it's not chump change. This guy is resting. So it's not chump change. We're gonna, you know, um, have to deal with that. But uh, I do have anti-carrier planes there. Um, because I don't have Marines landed anywhere, I can't use my planes to help out with anything else. Uh, I am going to send these over to the Philippines to bolster that up. And I'm just gonna keep separate piles for the different types of planes. Um, you know, maybe I should help the Solomons a little bit just in case they get attacked. 
Um, I have New Guinea here with two Aussie infantry. I'm going to move one to Borneo. And then this battalion is going to come back, you know, to like Wake Island. And then allows the Wake Island infantry to be available for something. And right now, I'm going to send him to help the 3rd Marine uh, invade the Caroline Islands. And yes, let's divvy up our Navy and do some damage. So we got some cruisers, battleship, carrier, battleship, 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 carrier, carrier, sub, and light carrier. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three, four carriers. Uh, there's a carrier here that we're going to have to contend with. Or no, not here, there. Um, and then a bunch of battalions, which are just going to be annoying. Uh, the Mariana Islands also have a bunch of battalions. And, uh, you know, I would love to go after their big mega stack in Iwo Jima uh, with this Navy, but I don't think I can. So, um... We're gonna divide this up, and I'm gonna send a light carrier to the Caroline Islands, along with the Yorktown. So they're both gonna to go to the Caroline Islands uh, with one escort. Um, and then uh, three of the cruisers. Okay, that's gonna help out with the Caroline. Um, and then the two carriers with two escorts, one cruiser, and four battleships, and the sub, are all going to go after the Mariana Islands. Is that really necessary? No, it's not really. Um, I mean, there's a lot of land infantry there um but this surface fleet three is literally a submarine that's all it is so it's not going to be a problem um like i could send maybe a destroyer there and have my destroyer take on his submarine <laughs> um that would be interesting because then maybe we can depth charge him and, and get him out of the game um i'm going to basically create a naval invasion of just, we're gonna start softening Iwo Jima. And I know there's a crap ton of battalions and all that stuff there, but really I'm, I'm trying to destroy their ships. That's my goal uh, in this. And they do have a lot of ships. They got three fleets, in fact. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and try to start chiseling away at that. All right, um, so I'm in an hour and 38, so thanks for watching. Stay awesome, and uh, stay healthy and safe, and we'll see you soon.